The reason that roller derby started was because there wasn't a major sport that was catered towards women. They created a space where they feel welcome. A lot of the old school derby camaraderie is very safe space, talk to each other nicely, respect each other's life and who they are outside of derby. I don't know, you just go into it, you lace up your skates and you're like, I'm going. When I first started skating, I honestly didn't have any goals. After I learned and figured it out, then I segued into derby. And derby teaches you the physics side of roller skating. And then it also taught me camaraderie and it taught me teamwork. You have to be there for each other. Now it's cool because I start seeing more women skating too. And then it's just like a thing where you see each other in the skate park, you make eye contact and you're like, I got you and you got me. And it's just like an unspoken bond. Representation in skating within different subcultures is super important because seeing little girls see other people skating that are like them, a little fire ignites in them because they see someone like themselves doing something that they want to do, so they see that it's possible for them to do it too. Dance skating, or it's called jam skating, it's you just grooving out to some music on your skates. It's like a super stress reliever. Whatever I'm mad about or like something made me sad or like I get into a fight with someone or something, I'm like, let's go skate, you guys. And then when I get to the skate park and I'm skating, just everything melts away. I love it because it's skating, something so innocent. Knowing that people have your back no matter who you are or any aspect of yourself, it doesn't matter. All we care about is skating and helping each other progress and we're not here to judge each other, put each other down. So it like definitely makes you want to skate. Because it doesn't matter where you come from or where you live or like who you are, it's just us bonding over skating.